Right now, though, it is uh, time for something that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. It is so hard to coordinate these guys' schedules because there's three of them, very different. One being from a um, a punk pop, somewhat techno band. Another one is an indie rocker with slick hair, really, really looks good in skinny jeans. That's me. <laughs> and the mm. other one is an R and B crooner, come gospel artist who's also been in the biggest boy band in the country, which is the Drakensberg Boys Choir. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of it that way, but that sounds pretty cool. I'm sure you've recognised the voices. Now it is Swing City on the sound of SA. Boys, gentlemen, rather, welcome to Hot 91.9, and more specifically, welcome to the Sound of SA. How are you? Hi, Andy. Good. Thank Very you. well, thank Lacker. you. <laughs> it is Nathan Rowe. Yes. From Lone Hill Estate. Mm -hmm. Graham Watkins from the Graham Watkins Project. Yes. And Loisa Baila from TKZ Family and the Baila, Baila Brothers. Brothers, Dragonsburg Boys Choir, the biggest boy band in the you know <laughs> in South Africa. <laughs> I like that. Yes. So, how did the three of you? come together to form Swing City? So, um, I think we were... So, okay, it's a bit <laughs> of a weird one. So, we were kind of all sharing a, a, a bra one day and um, the topic came up of Swing Music and the genre and we found out that we all had an affinity and all had a passion for the project. Nathan and my um, dad were in swing bands but separate ones, respectively. Oh, okay. So, we kind of grew up with the, the genre in the house and... And having that kind of played religiously on a Sunday, you know, we, we realized, hey, this might be something that might be quite cool because mm. SA doesn't really have something like that. And it was more of a passion project than it was, let's make an album. Or that wasn't even that wasn't even thought about. Hey, guys. Yeah, I, I was mean, like, hey, this sounds fun. Yeah, let's wouldn't do it be this. fun to do this? Yes, yeah. wouldn't it be fun to yeah. do this? And then we did it. So we got a couple of bookings for a show. We hadn't had one rehearsal. In fact, we hadn't even seen Lawyer yet in, in the grand scheme of things. So <laughs> it was a very like kind of disjointed thing. But we got together yeah. and the chemistry was immediate. The, the, the harmonies were so beautifully um, kind of executed with effortlessly. Hey, guys? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is, this was a crazy thing. So, so we kind of went into studio. We, um, we, we kind of spoke about it. Our managers came together because, you know, these are, these are three such huge artists that, mm. there was, that, that there's got to be three managers to just... <laughs> to control everything. <laughs> to just yeah. control the everything. Diary. Coordinate. And then the next thing, the next thing, the following week is, uh, you know, the guys are saying, okay, guys, so we're going to launch this in about two weeks. And then uh, you've got a gig <laughs> right after that. And then another one um, the week after. And then there's four afterwards. And we're sitting there going, what songs what are we, we going to sing? Yeah. <laughs> Never mind the fact that I mean, you know, like, you know, like, like I'm a Motown guy, mm. you know, so I didn't know a lot of the swing stuff. Um, and uh, and so now I literally had like a whole repertoire to learn. Mm. But what you cover, but, but, but what you start to notice about swing music is um, is, is that like as the songs are playing you start to go oh i i know the song mm. yeah i mm. know the song which means that you know to us it's actually just been music yes. we haven't really sort of categorized it into this a swing mm. but somehow you know most good songs they swing yeah man and then we started sort of taking the idea of of the swing genre and taking contemporary stuff and Sort of merging the two together. Yeah. We, you know? we, we'll hear a bit of that. And I'm yeah. sure um, people who have sort of seen you live or maybe even heard you, um, heard your interviews and uh, heard your songs know that. Isn't that a Taylor Swift song? Yeah. But mm. why is it different and why are there guys singing on it? Or isn't that a Lockenville song? Mm. Or why is it different and why mm. has it been swung out, so to mm. speak? So in 2014, you got together. Yeah. And then yeah. 2015 came the debut album. How did you choose the music that you wanted to swingify so to speak on that first album i think a lot of the stuff we you know having performed for a year almost um live you get a real feel for what the crowd enjoys um you know the the best songs you know mm -hmm. from so we usually perform you know quite long sets and the show is quite long um so then to condense that into an album was actually quite easy because you guys well we know this works we know this works we know this works yeah. so Our we're just giving people so. what they want to hear you know and a lot of them are just the old classics you know the mm, ones that mm. take you back remind you of your grandparents or whatever it is you know <laughs> yeah um so or i think that's or remind your grandparents of being young <laughs> yeah <laughs> but let me tell you what was really cool about this is that um when i've done albums before um, I'd go into the studio with the, let's say with the guys, with a bunch of, with the guys, we'd do an album and then a performance will come out of that. Sure. And whereas for us, um, our albums are really a, 
they they really some it, they really complement the performances. It's not the other way around. Yeah, it's like sure. a showcase um, of the live show. Of the live show. So I guess that's what kind of made it easier for us to go in there and to go. Okay, cool. Um, these are probably the top twelve songs that people love from our performances, mm-hmm. and so we're going to do an album of these twelve. Yeah. Um, so th- so the great thing is that when you listen to um, to a Swing City album. What you actually get that live feel is, is as if you're with us on the stage. And everything is live. All that's the where the songs came everything from. Everything is yeah. live. I mean, nothing is sort of overdubbed. Everything you hear on the album. No is auto tune. You know, no. love auto tune, but yeah. they're, they're the guys on the No, no, Jason that. Derulo on this one. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to be speaking a little bit later on about what it is like to uh, to be at a Swing City performance. We will hear you um, singing, but also, you know, do you have a band with you? Is there a particular look? All of that coming up on the way right here on the Sound of SA. This is Hot 91.9. I'm Andy Leve. You can get in touch with us. Uh, send through a tweet. I'm at Andy Leve on Facebook or hit us up on uh, Hot 91.9 FM. We're also available on whatsapp send through a voice note 84 22 or even a good old sms 44919 this is hot 919 playing you the best old school and r&b from his latest album run it is matthew mole with inside out here on hot 919 this is the sound of sa where i bring you 100 percent south african music every single sunday from six right through to nine i've been speaking to nathan rowe lois obala as well as graham watkins and together we squish them together and they form this lovely outfit called swing city are you still good we're still good yeah we're yeah. still good you're all staring at me rather doe-eyed because you're quite <laughs> oh, you're oh, yeah. quite lovely yes you're nice to look at <laughs> oh, oh, bye, thank you all right so uh those of you who don't know shame welcome to the show i've been mm. chatting behind the mic uh, to these guys who have really reinvigorated a sense of music prowess i would mm. say Mm, I like that. I think I it's like the name, the, 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 the name the for next, next, next album. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Music yeah. prowess. Prowess. Music Our prowess. Prowess. <laughs> prowess. It's a female prow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness me. Okay, so I want to know though, how do you keep your individual images separate from Swing City? Or was it a conscious decision for you to go, look, we don't want to blur the line here, mm. but we want to do this? Well, Swing City is Swing City's established brand now. It represents... It's a world that we've created that we can live in and exist in. But when we are removed from it, we're completely removed from it. Mm. Um, I think that was something that I think is testament to a lot of kind of hard work from our side and management side yeah. to make sure that the Swing City brand was a standalone brand that represented something very unique. And when you watch us live, for example, with the band, we've got a uh, now an eight piece band, um, you know, it's incredible to yeah. watch that live and to see that come alive. And when you when you step into that world, if you let go, it becomes that kind of nineteen yeah. twenty. Getting choked up there. <clears throat> no, uh, almost, uh, almost 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 I've almost, t- almost I've coughed. Got a tissue yeah. for you. But, but also, also, got some th- and, thanks. Andy, I also think that like you know our personalities are still the same. Yeah. Yeah. So you you get Loiso's gospel slash R and B personality mm. coming into the mix. You get Graham's energy that he brings to his indie rock band and you get my terrible dance moves and we like mash it all together yes. in Swing City. Yeah. And, and it definitely we're still are individuals, but I think that's what's so fun about it mm. is that we're all completely different and uh we kind of just tease each other. And it is ridiculously funny. Sorry. You, you know what it is? I mean like this is sort of like when I've done, um, when I'm singing any other genre of music and I'm on stage, it's a performance. Yes. Do you know what I mean? But whereas like Swing City is sort of like the reality show of who we really are. <laughs> because on there, <laughs> on there you could swear we were like, you know, like we we're like in a locker room, not in the States. Um, but, you know, like in South Africa, because you just kind of speak anything that really, really just comes from... Uh, it's not, I wish it was hot, but but, yeah. but, but, but but like sort of like sort of flies over your mind. And I guess that's the beauty of it. <laughs> this is The Sound of SA. I'm Andy Lever, joined behind the mic tonight by none other than the extremely amazing trio that is Swing City. And they're about to go live right now on Hot 91.9. Come with me to Paradise Road. This way, please. I'll carry your load. This you must believe. Come with me. 
to paradise skies look outside it'll open your eyes this you must believe there are better days before us and a burning bridge behind us fire smoking the sky is blazing there's a woman waiting weeping and a young man nearly beaten all for love there's music there and then paradise is almost closing down you must believe we sing you must believe you must believe you must believe Let's break it up you must believe you must believe you must believe paradise is almost closing paradise is almost closing paradise is almost closing down Yeah, I had to like sing, do the other instruments there yeah, in the yeah. interim. But yeah. <laughs> so that was Paradise Road, right? Yeah. yeah. By Joy. Mm. Yes. A very funny story about that. So we recorded this album um, and uh, it was done in quite a short period of time. And it was a very, very intensive process. I think it's the hardest album I've, the Listen Properly one, it's the hardest album I've ever done. Mm. Just from a harmony perspective and the arrangements. And Dave Cousins, who was our musical director, did an incredible job. Long story short, we were in the studio. It was like, what, 10 o'clock at night. And we thought yeah. to ourselves, like, yes, we okay, we need to go now. We've I think it was, it was the last day yeah, of vocal recording. It was the recording. last day of everything. And Adam Howard said, should we just give Paradise Road a go? And we were like, well, you know, we hadn't really arranged anything. And we kind of went with it. And we sang it one take. And as it is on the album is as it was. And the instrumentation was actually added in afterwards. Mm. Um, the piano and the horn section. And we kind of left there. And it was one of those moments where we just... Everything fell into place and then we left. Sometimes magic just happens. Yeah, and with magic. a song like that, it's, you know, it's <clears throat> yeah. easy for the magic to happen. So, and it's become one of the standout songs on the album. It really is. When I listen to it, I'm actually, I can't believe that we did that in one, one go. I mean, it, that doesn't happen often. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's a huge South African classic yeah. hit. Speaking of those kinds of songs, mm. uh, here on Hot 91.9, we're all about that. Mm. Playing you old school music, local and international. But I want to know individually, what did you grow up listening to? Who did you grow up listening to? Locally. Locally. Yeah. Locally. Yeah, for me it was um, uh, Just Ginger, it was uh, Springbok Nude Girls, it was Boo, um, Hog Hoggity Hog, you know, those kind of big ass rock bands that mm. just make you want to... I just I was living in Cape Town, so I couldn't actually come to Joburg, and they were always toured in Joburg, but they very rarely came to Cape Town, and I was still a bit young, so I wasn't really allowed out, and I used to listen to, you know, Barney Psycho Simon back in the day, and I used to be like, <laughs> oh, I need this in my life. Yeah. Yeah, that was me. I, I grew up on, on LPs, but when I say grew up, I was very young. I grew up listening to Ippy and Tombi. We had, we, had ah. we had the record of that, and I used to love it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so great. Um, so, yeah, a mango groove, you know, that kind of thing. That was um, just, for me, the most amazing thing. Mango groove was like, I remember seeing them on TV for the first time and just being like, what is this mm -hmm. happy music? <laughs> <It's> great. <laughs> well, I thought Michael Jackson was South African because that's all we ever. <laughs> Sorry, <Greg. laughs> in, in light of the recent no. Dove ad, I shan't say what I want to say, but go uh, on. No, 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 yeah, he's he's <laughs> no, I mean, like, you know, favorite uh, Growing artist. up, everyone thought that they were Michael. I mean, you know, everyone thought that they were Michael Jackson. So okay, cool. Now that we know that he's not South African, mm -hmm. um, I grew up in a lot of Brenda Farsi. Um, and then having gone to the Dragonsburg, we then started singing a lot of South African songs. So, funny enough, actually, the first gig that I ever that I ever did, ever, yeah. was as a backing vocalist for Steve of Mayer. Wow. wow. Yeah. Sure. He was about 17 years old. He's kind of Out like of the, the Michael Jackson of, of South Africa, huh? He's like the Donald Trump of South Africa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's break it up. Okay. But, but one common thread amongst all of those musicians is that they're still making great music. I don't know about Steve, but they're still making music, like music. to this day. Yeah. And yes. they still have a support structure to this day mm. and a strong base. Mm. So, you know, longevity and long may it last for them. Yeah. And long may it last for you lot. Yeah. So how about doing a, an Afrikaans uh, swing city album? 
little mm. song. Well, do you actually? Do you know what? We actually, actually have, a have, a, we have an Afrikaans song on there. Oh uh, yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. What is that called? Yeah, we did because that stuff swings. You know, I know. One, yeah, two, you, three. Well, you just go. Darkom. What? What's? What's coming? Darkom. Okay. One, two, three, four. Darkom di Alibama, di Alibama, di Komurisi. Darkom di Alibama, di Alibama, di Komurisi. Noi, noi, dirit koi, noi, dirit koi is gemaakt. Dirit koi is vir my gemaakt om daarop te slaap. Noi, noi, dirit koi, noi, dirit koi is gemaakt. Dirit koi is vir my gemaakt om daarop te slaap. Die Alibama, die Alibama, die Alibama, kom oor die sien. Die Alibama, die Alibama, die Alibama, kom oor die sien. O, ek wil huis toe gaan, na mama toe. Dere virus vol my trane ro. Ok, yeah, so something like that. Love it. Hey, this is Stuart Rees. You listen to Andy Levy on The Sound of SA, Hot 91.9. I'm still behind the mic here on Hot 91.9 with Swing City. This album we really brought home because mm. we, we thought like let's incorporate a lot of South African things and that's why the album's called Now Listen Properly for obvious reasons. Now Listen Properly. So we, we, we kind of took a very South African approach. To Actually, it. I think it's be- that's how much money we wanted to make off the album. We yeah. were hoping to make 75, 100, 1,000 to... Thank you, Jacob thousand. Zuma. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah man. And, and uh, our, our album's endorsed by the president, which is a really fantastic thing. Yeah, mm. awesome. Yeah. Well, it's also endorsed by us here at Hot 91.9. So, so we so love you so it. much that we've even invited you to come and sing at our Christmas party. Yes. I'm in. So all I of love our, Christmas. All of our hotties are, are seeing you and seeing us on the 4th of uh, November at Room 5 in Ravonia. Yes. Cannot wait. I love Christmas. It's Swing City and Christmas just go together it like does. like turkey and Christmas crackers. It's just mm. fantastic. Mm. And what do you guys wear when you're on stage before I let you go? Oh, we look so sexy. It's you, actually Are you going to be uh, dressed up as elves or Father Christmas? We usually Christmas? wear like really beautiful tailored suits and we look... Oh. Yes, Tuxedos, bow ties. We can, come, we can come dressed as elves. We I think can. you should. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, we just put pointy ears on and still wear the suits. Yeah. Mm. How about that? And then is there a, a live band with you? There might be. So, I mean, like, we have different we have different structures of performances, okay. you know, due to the economic uh, state of... <laughs> <laughs> the economic... Okay, state Minister of Finance. The climate, <laughs> of, the climate uh, of our country. Uh, <laughs> but otherwise, you know, sometimes um, sometimes it's um, it's just us. Mm. Um, it's just it's just as entertaining, but um, we love being on stage with our band, and we have a different band. It's not you know, it's not the band, it's not the normal band. Like for instance, the, the, there's a guy on an upright bass. We've got we've got awesome brass, the best players in the country, mm. and uh, just to make sure that what we're doing is just legit. It's mm. proper. It's yeah, legit. Man. You know, yeah. it's, it's got prowess. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, it is prowess. <laughs> yeah, is it? it's, it's so prowess right yeah. now. I'm glad that I've, I've um, increased your vocabulary there, Mr. Bala. Yeah, I'm yes. still going to use that word in my next uh, yeah, tweet. tweet. In fact, tweet. after this, I'm going prowessing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm doing after this. Gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure. But before I let you go, where can everybody get a hold of you? It is corporate season. So uh, I'm sure some people are listening now going, hmm, mm. I want these gentlemen to come and bring in some swing and music at my event. Where can we get in touch with well, you? Can I just can I just add, I think you know um, and 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 Nathan is gonna is gonna give you all the details because he had started, but do yourself a favor, okay? Yeah. Go to iTunes um, or what's the other one called? So I've got an Apple, iPhone. Apple Play, um, Google, Google Play, Google Play, like Google Google Play or any yeah Spotify. or any other good uh, um, uh, 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 download thing in my bobs mm. a prowess and uh <laughs> and get yourself the swing city album this yes. will give you such a great idea of what it is that we do because mm. obviously now we're just singing this stuff a cappella mm. um and also uh, just go to youtube check out our music video yeah, our music uh, videos for, are very for fun. beyond the sea go check out beyond the sea and the fun that you see there is is the exact fun that we're going to bring to your um to your event but where but can you get us yeah. uh you can find us on all the social media platforms at swing city band uh, so that's on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Mm. Um, if not, you can contact our management. Our, our management details are all on the Facebook mm. page. So maybe that's the yeah, best Yeah, and I mean, we do great. We are amazing at Bach Mitzvahs and Bar Mitzvahs. And we also kill at funerals. So just, yeah, hook us up, guys. And weddings. And weddings, but weddings. better at funerals. Yeah. yeah. Nothing like going down with a jazz song. And a good swing. Mm. Nathan? My Bye-bye. way. I love swinging at weddings. <laughs> My way. 
<laughs> Nothing like a good swing at oh, a wedding. Yeah. Graham, Loisa, and Nathan, they <laughs> come together to form Swing City right here on the Sound of SA. That was them behind the mic. Stay tuned. More good tunes coming up on the way. Love you, SA. Have a good Sunday. Listen properly. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's Howie Comrink here, and you're listening to the Sound of SA with Andy Levitt.